Hello my Pellegrini friends, we just finished our 5 minutes long lunch. Well that was enough time to make some noodles and they are, they are, actually, they are actually really good. But I'm still eating because there was not enough time to eat. <laughs> anyway, I hope the organizers will give us more time next in the next event so everything was kind of in a hurry. Anyway, let's not complain. This afternoon we'll have Tomasa Barquero, Ayotunde Pamile Kunayo, Yolanta Janus, Shane Graham, Teruya Muniak, Gustavo Alencar and Iglesia Brooks performing their best in their qualifying laps. Let's start with Tomasa Barquero now. Tomasa Barquero is gearing up for an epic showdown at the Redwood track. After a tough crash with Donna in New Zealand and a third place in the big ring, he's more fired up than ever to prove his skills are and bounce back. Let's see where his fire will qualify him today. slightly over half a second than Polly in the morning. So he took her fifth position with 1 minute 24 seconds and 37 milliseconds. His risk for this lap was 77% and the vision 73.9%. Ayotun de Pamile Konayo is back and ready to tear up the track. After a crazy crash into the ocean, Ayo is super eager to prove himself again rocking a new front and rear sportive bumper. His resilience and skill make him a fierce competitor, and you can expect a great quali qualifying performance. Let's see now what he's got. didn't do a very good performance now. It was almost one second slower than Chi Pai in the morning, so it was probably something that he had for lunch and was feeling a little bit sleepy. And even though he qualified in 10th now, he will definitely be at the bottom of the table today. His risk was at 76% and his vision 77.9%. 
Shane Graham is back and ready to tear up the West Coast track. After a very ugly crash in the big ring, he's more pumped than ever to show off his skills. With his brand new front and rear sportive bumpers, he's now geared up to leave everyone in awe. Let's see his party round. seconds and 946 milliseconds he definitely won't secure the eighth eighth position though he'll probably go down his risk was at 71 percent and vision 76 percent yolanta Yanos is ready to make her mark at the west coast track after a tough last race which she finished in first she's fired up to show off her skills again and go for her second win i'm really looking to see what she's got oh oh she's starting See Juliana and Arthur now shaking their bones as Yolanta was concluding her lap. Yolanta managed to be 6 milliseconds faster than Arthur and took the fourth position from him while Juliana remained in the third. Yolanta's time was 1 minute, 23 seconds and 453 milliseconds with a risk of 79% and the vision was 79.4%. Teruya Muniak is revved up and ready to take on the Redwood Forest track. After fourth place in the big ring, he's laser focused on climbing in this race. But what he's actually showing is that the leopard can't change its spots. Let's see how he performs today.
with this lab, Teroy didn't seem to be much engaged at the qualifiers today. He managed to secure the third position from the bottom up, faster only than Ching Bai and Ayo. His time is 1 minute 27 seconds and 604 milliseconds with a risk of 67% and a vision of 73.7%. Gustavo Alencar is back and ready to take on the competition. After finishing third in the big ring, he's super determined to climb the ranks. With his smart strategies and competitive spirit, Gustavo is definitely someone to watch out for. Let's see his qualifying round now. Gustavo just took Teruya out of his seat. With a quiet to know interesting map, Gus assumed the 11th place being just a third faster than Teruya pushing him even further below. Gus's time was 1 minute, 27 seconds and 337 milliseconds with a risk of 67%, the same as Teruya, and a vision of 74.2%. Alicia Brooks is revving up for an epic race at the West Coast track. After finishing second in the big ring, she's ready to push her limits and go for the top spot. You know she's going to impress everyone out there, so let's see what she has reserved for today. just helped us secure something to talk about at our tea break that is actually exciting. Elisha managed to be 100 milliseconds faster than Juliana, assuming provisional third place of the, of the competition. Now, things are starting to get a little bit more interesting. Her time was is actually 1 minute, 23 seconds and 202 milliseconds with a risk of 76% and a vision of 79 
So, now that we have finished our afternoon competitors qualifying, we are free to take our tea break or coffee or water or whatever we want. Elisha just managed to make things interesting because this afternoon we filled mostly the mid-table positions. Well, Yolanta also made a nice lap but didn't secure any of the three, the three top spots. As we can see at the table, Reynaldo, or Reynaldo and Nina have been untouched with their amazing times. Elisha assumed the third spot with Juliana falling at the fourth. Yolanta is at the fifth after a nice round, just 6 milliseconds faster than Arthur, who is at the sixth position. Thomas started this afternoon round and now finishes in the seventh position, followed by Polly, Zach, Shane and Donna. Then we have Gus, who also didn't do a good lap, but finished in after in the second, uh, 12th position. And he is a third of a second faster than Teruya, who is in the 13th position. Then we have our two last slowers guys, which are Timbai and Ayo. And they are in the 14th and 15th respective positions. Let's see what's gonna wait for us in the last video after this tea break with the remainder top 7 best drivers so far. Bye now!